Greetings, viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk. And unless you've been living underneath a rock for the past week and a half or so, you'll already know that uh, the World Cup is on. Why don't Americans get more excited about it? Okay, this video has been inspired by a friend of mine who left a comment on his Facebook the other day. His name's Joe. Uh, some of you might know him here on YouTube as Serious Mind. And Joe was sort of kind of complaining about the fact that friends from around the world give Americans a hard time because we don't tend to get quite so enthusiastic about football. Soccer. And, uh, you know, he said quite aptly, I think, that, uh, you know, most Americans who aren't into football don't really give a shit that football is the most popular sport in the world and so forth. Um, and, you know, I am not a fan of football normally. I live in the UK, as most of you already know, and this is a gung-ho country when it comes to football. Soccer. But I don't give a shit about it. I, I, the Premier League comes and goes every, every season. I don't ever watch. I mean, never watch, okay? When the Euro comes and goes every four years, uh, I, I, I never watch. I, I couldn't give a shit about it. I, I just don't care. But when the World Cup comes every four years, I do watch. It only lasts for about a month, and I reckon that once every four years, I can take a month out of my precious time and pay attention to a sport which the whole world loves. And, uh, you know, I actually can get enthusiastic about some of the games. And I especially get enthusiastic when England's playing and when the USA is playing, because those are my two home countries. Uh, England obviously has been utterly humiliated in this World Cup, and uh, that's too bad. But the USA has, you know, managed to hold their own so far. And I'm really looking forward to their game against uh, Germany in a few days. But I thought I would explain uh, to some of my international friends why it is Americans don't really get too enthusiastic about football. Soccer! Reason number one. The games last for 90 minutes, which is fair enough, but... It is not at all uncommon for the whole 90 minutes to go by with only one goal scored by either team. Sometimes it can be 0 to 1 and the game ends. And that just feels, from an American point of view, boring. You know, it's a bit hard to get excited about that. But when, the, when teams are evenly matched, um, you know, or close to evenly matched, I think uh, football can be very interesting sometimes. And, more to the point, one of the things I like about the World Cup, which doesn't really pertain when you're watching the national game, is internationally, different teams from different parts of the world, definitely, without a doubt, you can spot it from a mile away, have different strategies and different sort of traditions about how they play the game. And, for a example, Latin American teams tend to just go balls to the wall, man. They, they, you know, they play, they, they're always someone chasing that ball, always. Always, always, always. They don't really seem to give a damn about defense so much. It's all about offense. It's all about getting the ball, stealing the ball, and putting the ball in the net. And so it's really exciting sometimes when you watch these uh, South American and Central American teams play. We don't like the fact that there's only one goal or, or a few goals. I mean, a, a really exciting football game will have maybe four or five goals scored in it, uh, you know, divided between the two teams. That's, a, you know, if, if you get a 3-2 game, that was a nail-biter, man. That was a really exciting football game, okay? Um, but very, very, much more often than not, it's like 0-1 to one or 1-2. Or to two. And I think from an American point of view, that just comes across as a bit boring. Another thing about football that I think just sort of goes against the American grain is the fact that the game can end, in, and often does end, in a tie. We don't like ties, man. We want winners and losers. Someone should be victorious, and someone should be humiliated. That's the way we roll, you know. So um, the fact that the games can end in a tie just seems, you know, eh, to us. You know, I, I, I'm only speaking generally. I mean, obviously, I can't speak for every American. But I do tend to believe that a lot of Americans share my sort of attitude for football. I mean, it's not awful, but it's just not something I can really get enthusiastic about very often. I reckon once every four years is enough enthusiasm from me. Last but not least, I think the, uh, the fact is, with uh, football, the reason I, I really do like the World Cup is because it's a truly international event. Um, and I think that Americans don't like to admit it, but that's one of the things that we don't like about it. And here's why. When our own American football teams play their games, 
which obviously culminates in uh, the end of the winter with the uh, Super Bowl. When the winning team wins the Super Bowl, the commentators on the TV and the sportsmen themselves and loads of the fans like to go, world champions, world champions, which is a bunch of fucking bollocks, people. We should be embarrassed to say that. We're not world champions at American football because we're pretty much the only country that plays according to those rules. Football, our kind of football. Whereas with soccer, or football, as it's more properly known, it's a truly international sport. So whoever wins the World Cup can justifiably hold up that trophy and say with a clear, steady voice, we are the fucking world champions. I think Americans get perturbed about that because we know that we look stupid when we say world champions after the Super Bowl. So that's my theory anyway. What do you guys think? I would love to hear if you're an American and you don't really care for football, for reasons other than the reasons I've mentioned, uh, please feel free to leave me a comment. If you're an American who's gung-ho about football, not just when the World Cup comes, but, you know, in general, wicked. Tell me why. Why do you get into it, and do you prefer it to other American sports, or is it just that you also like it as well as, you know, football and basketball and baseball or whatever else you might be into? I do find it an interesting topic. You know, the, the World Cup is a one-of-a-kind event. Well, one of a kind. It happens every four years, right? But basically, it, it, it really does sort of show that sport can be something that uh, everybody has in common and can take something positive away from. And I think, you know, that's sort of like the Olympic tradition. And, and I really, really admire that about the World Cup. Um, and in general, not every year, not every four, every time the World Cup comes around, but in general, um, the players themselves are pretty fucking sportsmanlike. You know, I mean, a lot of them play on teams, even though not each other's national team because they can't do that. But you know, a lot of international players play for other countries. You know, we have our fair share of foreigners playing in American football, for example. And uh, here in the UK, there's definitely a lot of foreigners who play on the, the various cities' different teams. So. Um, these guys obviously know each other, and in the World Cup, they get to face each other in a way that they don't normally do, and I think that does sort of bring an edge of excitement to it. So, leave me your comments down below. I'd be very grateful for that, and uh, until next time, go USA! I hope they beat the shit out of Germany in a couple of days and go through to the knockout round. It should be a very interesting World Cup. I actually think if, if the USA makes it into the knockout round, I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to head down to the fucking betting shop and I'm going to bet on my team to win the World Cup. If the USA won the World Cup, which is an enormous if, I will grant you that, um, but if we won the World Cup, I think it would do the sport of football a lot of good in the USA. And I also think that uh, myself and most Americans who've been paying attention this, for this World Cup would be insufferable. I'll be more smug than the fucking players. I'll probably be almost as happy as the players as well. And I'll have a tidy little bit of weight, uh, money from my bet. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you're all having a great day. And until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.